interviews with business owners and veteran executives who share their wisdom and expertise to help you de-stress, free up time, and make more money. Profits of IT. Welcome back to the Profits of IT. I am Jim Punzenberger, your host and the creator of the Manage Prospecting System. If you're looking to generate clients or partners without cold calling, ad spend, or spamming, be sure to check out manageprospectingsystem.com. Excited to have Joel with me today. Joel, please uh, introduce yourself and tell us a quick bit about uh, your company. All right. So Providence Partners, is this is our 12th year that we've been in business. And prior to that, I've been in the IT and engineering staffing business for 24 years. And I got into it from coming out of the military, had a tech background there. I learned that I like tech, but I'm not good at repairing and building tech. I just like talking about tech. And it's really fun to talk technologies with technology professionals as long as I'm not hands in the code or hands in the equipment. Uh And so I had a mentor very early on who was a retired engineer from Texas Instruments uh, and Jim Janulius was his name. He actually said, man, I was an electrical engineer for my whole life. Then I got into recruiting and I wished I could have flip-flopped those two career stops, he said. And I heard go, start at technical recruiting. That sounds like a good place for me. And that's exactly what I've done for better than two decades. Wow. Uh, that's, uh, and it sounds like you really enjoy it. I do. I do. Because uh, in the world of technology, it continues to evolve very quickly. And we solve problems you know, with new technology. And then we enable businesses to do things like the big pivot that we saw everyone have to do here in the last two years of, right. hey, we're a traditional brick and mortar company through technology. Now we can work from home. And it's been real interesting to watch how in a two month period, our economy had to evolve to accommodate that very quickly. And I fully expect, you know, there's n- the next new challenges that are coming. Uh, watching as our 5G cell phone towers and technology and infrastructure is being built out. What is that going to do to enable bandwidth, as an example, in our marketplace? And I think what's really exciting, too, is we're not doing this in a vacuum. You know, all of us have family. We have kids or, for me, soon to be a grandchild who's going to grow up with this technology and wonder what life would be like without the internet and I can get anything instantly on my phone. Yeah, so so it's fun working with professionals that design that, service that, uh-huh. and make it go faster, make it run better. And that's been uh, one, of the, one of the greatest things that I've enjoyed working with those type of folks over the years. Got it. So what's something interesting about yourself outside of work? Uh, for fun, uh, I like to do triathlons. Uh, the idea of keeping yourself in shape. I've got a small group of friends that I like to uh, go beat up on a bike, bicycle ride or go run with or go swim in some of the local lakes. And then once or twice a year, we all tow the line to see uh, who's done the best job of keeping their beer and cheese belly off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so is it, uh, do you have a, a distance that you guys like to do for your triathlons? Yeah, yesteryear we did the full Ironman uh, races. Uh, the last time I did that was in 2020. That became my COVID mental health treatment plan was when everyone was cooped up, I would train for Ironman Florida. And that felt like my retirement race from that distance because it just, takes so much energy, effort, and time to go do that. So what we prefer to do is a sprint or the Olympic distance. Olympic is even something you can't just show up and do. Sprints, you can kind of do that. Uh 
the Olympic distance, you actually got to get out and, and gain some fitness to get through that race, especially in the heat of yeah. Texas. We do that usually Memorial Day weekend. Cap Tex is a is a okay. famous triathlon down so here in Iron Austin, Man, Texas. There's half Ironman, and then is there Olympic? Is like how does shorter than compare? half. Correct. How That's does correct. That compared to the half Ironman. So if you think you start at sprint, yeah, then you double that race. It's an Olympic. And you almost double the Olympic on the bike ride and the run, and you get to half, a half Ironman. And then you and then the half the Ironman, half, obviously, you double it again, you go to the full Ironman. So, so yeah, um, so that that is my passion outside just for fitness and mental health reasons. Sounds like a great passion to have. So what would you say uh, is your superpower when it comes to business or what do you contribute your success to and how can others learn from that to be more successful themselves? So I've, I've had a mentor that talked through the idea of servant leadership. And uh, one of my other passions because of my kids was in the scouting community, Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. And that was a, a leadership style that spoke to my heart where, hey, if you can serve and teach others through servant leadership, um, it, it seems to resonate with people. And as long as you continue to be authentic to the commitments that you make in that type of role, people really appreciate and respond well to it. And in the world of recruiting, and working with IT professionals and engineering folks, uh, that resonates with them as well, because right now in our marketplace, we're seeing unprecedented demand for IT and engineering talent. Every marketplace that we're in right now that we're helping our clients out, everyone's talking about this big, massive technical labor shortage. Uh -huh. and, and it's a macro thing. It's a labor shortage in general. But in, you know, in the vertical market of IT and engineering, it's even worse because it's, it's so competitive. We're seeing unprecedented uh, salaries and creative compensation packages just to draw people in. And so the only way to really reach to and build relationships with people is by being authentic and serving, serving people where they, they get real value from what you offer and how you set them up for success when they're meeting with uh, companies, hiring managers, and hopefully their next career stop. So it's a uh, so success by servant leadership. So um, if uh, I haven't necessarily been um, focused on servant le leadership and I want to start focusing on that, do you have any tips for me on how to do that? Yeah, so, so in, in the world of recruiting uh, and, re and relating it to how to serve others, um, the perception of our, our industry is recruiters want to just make a buck off of you. You know, if I place you with my client, then I get to charge them a fee. And, I, you know, and, and we flip that model at Providence Partners on its head a little bit. Because in a market where each person can pretty much design what their ideal next stop looks like in their career, we want to partner with them to figure out, okay, what clients will set you up for success to, to meet those requirements and, and put you on that path. And it's not about the recruiter and trying to make the placement. It's always going to be about the candidate and what they feel is their next best stop. And sometimes people come to us and they just, they don't have an idea. I've been doing this for 10, 15 years. It's all I know, what should I do next? And we can walk through that conversation. You know, is it time for you to look at a manager track? Is it time for you to look at a deeper dive into a specialty technology that you'd love to learn more about? Is there a client that's, moving the, the needle a little bit more on a leading edge technology that you're interested in, we can facilitate that type of introduction. So 
first we have to drill into, well, what does that, that person want? And as they work through the different steps and stages of their careers, they have different needs. You know, sometimes it's purely economic going, hey, I haven't had a raise in five years, or uh, I had to take a pay cut going in and out of COVID because our business was trying to just survive. Well, all of a sudden there's this big surge in the marketplace for this demand of labor. Is it, I need to get you back so you can keep paying your bills. Uh, so so it, it's a really interesting stop or a place in our, in our employment history right now because uh, we've got so many interesting challenges. Um, the other thing I, I, I find that's interesting is our millennial workforce right now is the largest segment or largest population in the actual workforce. And we've been talking about millennials for a long time. Well, they're a culture that they're used to lots of data and they're much better at buying from versus being sold to. That, that's an observation that we've made. Well, in that type of culture, it's important to figure out what is it that they want. Because if I say, hey, here's a client, you would be a great fit. You should take this job. They're like, red flags go up. Ah, wait a second. I, I don't know if that's the, the best path for me because now I'm suspicious. Versus if you show them a path and go, hey, based on our conversation and what you're looking to do next, maybe this is a great fit. Here's what I know about the client and you give them the inside scoop as to what's going on and what that client really needs to accomplish with the new person that joins their team. Slightly different approach, slightly different perspective, but uh, it's starting to resonate a lot better than our old school of cold calling and you know, hard sales is what recruiting used to be. And now it's more of an invitation. So, hey, how do we collaborate? How do we set you up for success? Got it. Uh, so what else is important to know about this? I, I think from a, a go forward perspective, uh, I, I'm going to lean on my, my, all of my Boy Scout training, uh, integrity, trustworthiness, uh, Honesty, all of those attributes when you're working uh, and partnering with a recruiting company still are very important. Uh, what we're finding in this world of high demand in the labor market, uh, it's very common for ghosting to happen. Meaning, hey, yeah, I'm interested in your job. Oh, okay. Here's some options for us to set up a meeting to talk. And then you never hear from that candidate. And then candidate complaints are the same thing. Recruiters pursuing them, and all of a sudden, am I not as beautiful as I once was? How come you're not talking to me? You know, so, so having high integrity through that process and going, hey, you met with the client. Their feedback was you're not quite a fit. Here's why. And here's some, some tips that might help you do better the next time you're meeting with a client. So, so that integrity is a pull through on both the candidate side and also the recruiting side. Again, that's where this partnership has to be something of substance and value to both parties involved. Got it. Uh, so uh, Providence Partners, uh, who should be doing business with you guys and why should they be doing business with you? Well, thank you for that question. So small to mid-sized technology companies are our sweet spot. Uh, anyone uh, interested in adding uh, a partner like us to their process to augment and find, you know, the tough to fill engineering spots or IT spots. That's our specialty. Got it. Cool. And uh, if somebody wanted to get a hold of you, what's the best way of them getting hold of you? Email is joel, J-O-E-L, at P-P-A-A-C dot com, email wise. Or uh, my work phone number, 512-750-0778. Always available to have a conversation and see how we can work together. Great. So uh, somebody's looking to uh, recruit uh, te technical talent, uh, they should uh, reach out to you. Exactly right. Got it.
Well, thank you, Joel, for your time today and sharing your wisdom and knowledge. It was uh, been great uh, chatting with you. Thank you for the invite, Jim. Great to get to know you and spend some time with you as well. Well, you're welcome. It's been my pleasure. And until next time on the Prophets of IT, I am Jim Punzenberger, your host and the creator of the Managed Prospecting System. If you're looking to generate new clients or partners without cold calling, ad spend, or spamming, be sure to check out managedprospectingsystem.com. Thank you for tuning in to the Profits of IT. Please smash that like button, subscribe, and share.